Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. So today, actually, this was not the video I had planned for today, but I have so many feelings right now, so many emotions that I'm going through that I was like, you know what, we're gonna push the original idea for Saturday, which you'll still get, it's the Cleona Cosmetics Patio Season Summer Drinks Collection. That will just get pushed to Tuesday because we gotta talk about the Nails Inc. Fruit Loops Collection. And if you could tell by my thumbnail, Hillary's not thrilled. I have a bounty on Toucan Sam. We'll get into it. So when Nails Inc. started teasing this collab, you better believe that I had about a thousand people DMing me, asking me if I had seen it, tagging me and stuff. And, you know, thank you for everybody who does that because, you know, I miss stuff. And it, when you guys tag me and DM me, that makes it so that I don't forget to order these things or check these things out. So I had a lot of people tagging me in this and it was set to go on sale August 1st on the Nails Inc. website. And what this is, it is a seven piece collection of scented creams. And it didn't say necessarily what the scent was, it just said fruity scented. And if you have ever eaten a Fruit Loop in your life, you know that artificial sweet cereal fruity smell, it's delicious. So they had five polishes here that you could buy individually for $8 a piece. And they're kind of like a lighter pastel or bleached neon type of formula and these are all creams and then there was an exclusive duo as well and you could only get these two polishes in the duo these are $15 and these are like true neons so you have your five bleached neons and then these two kind of super neons which I don't we'll talk about that and we'll talk about that later but yeah so that's the pricing structure these are still available on their website they like i said they went live on august 1st and you better believe you know me type a hillary set an alarm for i think like 8 a.m on august 1st and then every 30 minutes until it went on sale i checked their website to be like when is it going on sale because i didn't see a time and i didn't want to be late i wanted to be like get my order in, get my product in, and review it. So Hillary, if you place your order on August 1st, why are you posting your review on August 26th? That's 25 days in between placing the order and posting your review, right? Like if your turnaround time isn't really that abysmal, is it? Well, actually sometimes yes it is, but it took three weeks for these to get to me now. This wasn't a pre-order, it wasn't listed as a pre-order. So a three week turnaround time is kind of weird when most pre-orders that I order from have a three week turnaround time and still manage to get to me before that three week turnaround time is up. So at around the two week mark, when I hadn't seen any change in my order, I emailed Nail Zinc and I was like, hello, I was just wondering because I haven't seen any movement. I'm very polite in emails. I was like, I haven't seen any movement on my package. And I was just wondering, um, you know, what's going on? And they emailed me back and basically told me that they weren't ready to ship. They said they were having trouble getting the product out, but that it would ship by the end of the week. And it did ship finally, like on that Friday. So it took three whole weeks for me to get my order, which would not have been a problem. I would not have been upset about this if they had just told me that. Like, even if after they set up the orders, they were like, oh my God, we are not ready. Oops, are bad. And just shot an email out to everybody who ordered and said like, hey guys, sorry, there's a little bit of a delay. Perfect, now I know. But no, I gotta sit here for like over two weeks being like, where the hell is my nail polish? Which honestly, I know that's such a petty complaint, but it's just like, if you knew that you messed up, just say like, hey, we just don't have it yet. And then I wouldn't be making this ranty, annoying YouTube video. Anyways, this is the intro. And I'm, I'm like seven minutes in according to my camera and I haven't really talked about anything. That's how annoyed I am. Welcome to this video. So I do have the standard swatch and review for you. I will show you the live swatches as well as the full hand swatches coming up next of all seven of the polishes. And then at the end, I will talk about as if I haven't already, 
some more of my thoughts and feelings on this collection. Okay, so the first five are going to be those like pastelier ones and we're gonna go in rainbow order. So first up we have this brighter pink called Follow Your Nose. These first five, they all swatch the same. The first coat looks a little bit uneven and a little bit see-through. With that second coat, it does cover up a little bit better. I would argue it's not fully opaque. Uh, under the ring light, it looks a little bit more opaque, but you have to do a little bit finagling to get it fully covering that nail line because these don't level as well as other nails ink polishes that I've had. This orange, it kind of reminds me of macaroni and cheese orange, and it's called Toucan Play at that game. I will say, as much as I complain about this collection later on in the video and at the beginning of the video, uh, I do think the names are pretty good. They did a really good job with the names here, and I do like the bleached neon color tones. This is Feeling Fruity, and this is a yellow. I thought out of all of them, this one would not become opaque on that second coat, but as you can see, it does pretty well. There is still a little bit of visible nail line, but I think that part of it is my nails are pretty stained. I had been swatching a lot all day, and this is only two coats on the nail here, so it does cover up. We have, I, I don't know how to say this, is it serial talk or is it surreal talk? Like, this is a pun that only works visually, and I both love and hate that. I don't know why. This is a very pale, kind of like lighter green again. Doesn't totally cover unless you finagle or use slightly thicker coats, which I did in my swatch photos, to attain that full coverage. Then the last of these pastel neons is Toucan Sam Approved, and it is a blue. We lack a purple, which I will yell about later, don't you worry. Uh, I did find they bubble a little bit, but if you play with that, it does push those bubbles out. Again, two coats, full coverage, a nice, really pretty color palette. Then we have the bright neons. This one is Face the Fruit. It is a bright pink. These neons remind me of the first time Zoya did those neons with the white cap and we were all really hype and then we got them and they were all see-through. <laughs> That's what these remind me of because you can see the full nail line. You need a blurring base or maybe even a white base coat. Then we have Live Life Loopy and I'm pretty sure the website says this is yellow. I'm convinced this is green, but on my screen, it does look like it lives somewhere in between the two. I don't know how to categorize this one on my spreadsheet. I had it as green, then I saw it as yellow on the, on the website, and in this picture, I feel like it does look yellow, but I really don't know. So, what do you guys think of this collection? My anticipation for this was very high. I have the, you can see up there at the top of my shelf, I have their Velveeta collab. I really liked that. I thought that it was really good quality and the scent was like a gross artificial cheese. It really worked with the macaroni and cheese collaboration. But this one really fell flat for me, which is disappointing because I, when I was a kid, I was a big cereal fiend. I love cereal. I don't eat it anymore unless it's dry because I cannot eat, I can't have milk to save my life. Um, I just really love the colorful aspect of it, the nostalgia aspect of it, the fact that it's scented. I love a good gimmick. You guys know that. And I love scented polish and I love food themed polishes. So this was really like a, a winner for me. You know, I thought I was going to come in and be like, you guys need this. This is the best collection ever. It really sucked. I was very disappointed and not even because of the shipping thing like that to me the shipping is separate from like the quality of the polish so my first really big issue with these polishes is the scented aspect of it I love a scented polish it's it's just that the scent that these had I thought was gonna be sweet like a, a cereal like a fruity cereal but it smells like a, a fruity perfume like it has a really perfumey you know when somebody's got too much perfume on and you can smell the floralness of it or like the the fruitiness of it but then there's that underlying almost like alcoholy kind of like pungent tang that's how these smell to me they didn't smell like a food they didn't smell like a delectable delicious cereal treat they smelled like alcoholic perfume and so that was strike one for me right off the bat. I was like, well, first of all, you've, you've messed up there. Like you've really, 
you've really wronged me in that way. But also, like, okay, the colors, very cute. These colors are precious. I do think that, like, this pastel-y kind of bleach neon -y color, it does reminisce of, like, a fruity cereal. When you put them all together, you're like, yeah, that looks like a big bowl of cereal. Except, guess what? There's a purple Fruit Loop, too, you guys. Where's the purple Fruit Loop? Give me the purple Fruit Loop. Why did you not give me a purple Fruit Loop? Like, I feel like I'm, yeah, no, there's purple Fruit Loops. I just... There's six colors to Fruit Loops and there's only five polishes colors. And then, okay, you've got the five colors of the cereal minus the purple. We don't have the purple. I'm gonna harp on that forever. But then what's up with this? Like, why did you include this double neon here? Don't get me wrong. Like if these had smelled like Fruit Loops, I'd be like, okay, whatever. Like at least seven different colors, cool. But these, why? You've already got a green and a pink in here. These are just more neon versions of these. Like it just, this feels out of place. Had they just released these five, I think it would have made more sense. As far as the quality of the polishes themselves go, I probably talked about this in my voiceover. I do my voiceover like the very last thing, so maybe I didn't, but for the bleached creams, the bleached neon style creams, I felt like they were fine. The first coat on a lot of them, it was a little bit weird, a little bit streaky. With the second coat, it was pretty much fine, but it didn't it didn't self-level as well as other nails ink that I've had in the past. Now, for the two neons that came out of left field, I did two coats. You could see the nail line. These are thinner neons. Now, sometimes with these really, really bright neons, it's just like that for that side type of a polish. So, I mean, it's, I experienced that with a lot of brands. When the neon is like this kind of formula, you can see visible nail line unless you do three, maybe even four coats, or you use a blurring base, or maybe even just a white base would help. Uh, but I didn't do that for my swatch pictures, so you're just seeing them in the two coats. So they do dry down pretty quickly. They dry down matte, which Again, I come to expect from these types of brights, but I really could have done without this duo. It's, it just doesn't fit the theme for me. Cause like, like what food is this color? Like aside from like a sour candy, it's not like that. Like these more softer ones, these more pastel-y ones, these fit. So as for the color story goes with these five, I think perfect, great, you did a good job, except for the purple. For this, I was just kind of like, eh. I threw it in because it was part of the collaboration, but on hindsight, I don't think that I should have bought this at all. As far as the names go, I think they're pretty cute. Like we have Toucan Sam approved, but it's like Toucan Sam trademark. Like they make sure, you know, don't steal that. And then hashtag follow your nose, which is also trademarked. Toucan play at that game. We have, it's like, Serial talk, but it's like surreal talk. It's a pun that really only works like visually, so that's difficult. Feeling fruity, which I don't know about that one. Um, face the fruit and live life loopy. When I first saw live life loopy, I thought it said live laugh loopy, and I was like, what the heck? But either way. Uh, so as far as the names go, I think they did a good job. As far as the other stuff, like one, have your stuff ready to go when you say it's ready to go. If you don't, then delay it. I don't know, maybe they needed the money. The color scheme, I think that the neons should have just been left out and then the five kind of more plainer colors were good. I think they should have thrown in the purple. And the scent I just think is totally off on these. And I know Nails Ink can do a sweeter scent, like a non perfumey scent because last Christmas I bought, they had like three scented Christmas polish sets and one of them smelled like a Christmas cookie or it said it was supposed to and it absolutely did. It smelled like a baked good. Like they can do the sweet scent. So I don't know if it was just a choice to do it more like a, a perfumey fruit. I didn't like it though. I felt like that was a letdown. I'm so sad about it. Can you tell? I've been ranting about it for like 15 minutes. Yeah, I, I feel like with the Velveeta one, they they went the right way. They did two polishes. 
and they didn't really push a weird color story. They stuck with the yellow and red, which are the kind of the colors of the Velveeta box. They didn't throw too much in. In order to add a little bit more to the collection, they did some nail stickers, and that was it, and it was cool. For this one, I felt like they just, like they didn't have it all together. Like the idea was there, the concept was good, and then the execution just didn't hit for me. Maybe you guys will see it differently. Maybe you guys prefer this scent. Maybe you guys like the neons. But for me, a polish food connoisseur or a food polish connoisseur, if you will, they just didn't hit the mark for me. I don't know. However, the price is good on Nail Zinc. $8 a bottle is not bad. 15 for the duo, so you're saving a buck if, you know, you were to buy two rather than the duo. So it's ultimately, if you like these colors and you don't have them in your collection, might not be a bad thing. Their brushes, I find, are quite nice for me. They're that like kind of like more scooped end, so it fits really perfectly into my nail bed here. I have more rounded nail beds, so if you have a rounded nail bed, these will work really well for you as well. Oh my God, I just noticed. So like, it's like a sticker on the cap that says Fruit Loops. The one on the green one is so off, and that's another petty thing, but it's annoying. Like, come on, come on. Toucan Sam, watch out. So yeah, I'm pressed about it. I'm stressed about it. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys thought of this collection. I just feel like could have been better. I don't, I don't know, like I'm not a, a chemist, so I can't sit here and be like, here's how they could have fixed the scent. But I just feel like if you're gonna make it scented, it should be scented like Fruit Loops, right? Like why would you make it just an arbitrary fruit smell? Like Fruit Loops is the scent. Like, you know what? And I know that that scent exists in cosmetics because I bought a Fruit Loops body scrub from KB Shimmer and it smells exactly like Fruit Loops. And you know what? I ate some of it on camera, so that's not here. I, I don't know why I brought that up again, but I did eat some of it and it was delicious. Uh, it did not taste like Fruit Loops though, which is fine. I don't, I don't need my body scrubs to taste like Fruit Loops because you're not supposed to eat them. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna end this here because I need to stop. <laughs> I need to take a breath. I'm a little flustered. So let me know down in the comments how you guys felt about this collection. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.